Today we are at Toyosu Station. So today we are heading to the Toyosu Fish Market new tourist spot called Senkyak Banlai. There are so many fish shops and also sushi places. It's my very first time. It just opened February 2024. However, according to the internet information, because the prices are so expensive, people are telling that it it could be the new tourist trap. So we are heading there and checking if it's good spot or just a tourist trap. Hopefully this video will help for your next Japan trip. Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno Gao. Today we are directly heading to the Toyosu Fish Market. It can be a walking distance. However, we are using the train, which is the Yuri Kamome line. I'm using the stairs, but if you are traveling to Japan, please don't worry. Most of the places, you can find the elevator. So if you have a handicap or traveling with heavy luggage or strollers, please don't worry. In Toyosu Station, if you are using the Yuri Kamome line, number 7 is the closest exit. This is the way to go, by the way. Yes, there is the elevator too. Toyosu is also a popular spot going to the Team Lab Planet. It is a beautiful place. If you are heading to the Team Lab Planet, it's only one station away. Only takes 10 minutes by walking. So if you are heading to the Team Lab, maybe you can walk. However, if you are going to the Toyosu Fish Market, since Toyosu Fish Market is a big place, so probably you want to use the train because you need to walk a lot in the market so probably you will be tired over there you want to save the energy yeah i think it's better so that's the tokyo metro toyos entrance and if you use the exit number seven toyos station yuri kamome line is just in front of it and it's really simple this is the way to go Last time when I visited there, unfortunately, Toyosu Fish Market was closing. When I checked the internet, I found out that usually they close it on Wednesday. So if you are planning to travel to Toyosu Fish Market, make sure to check their closing day before you are going there. Otherwise, you can't enter in the market. So let's keep walking. By the way, you can always check on the internet when they open and when they close so if you are visiting here again make sure to check that let's keep walking so here we go already the train is here let's ride this train it is always fun to ride the yuri kamome line because we can see the street clearly it is kind of scary but if you don't mind to stay in the high place it's a fun ride by the way we just ride Yuri Kamome line from Toyosu station and heading to the Shijo Omae station this is the Toyosu market if you are heading to the Odaiba you can directly go with this train several stations away and here is the Odaiba it is a beautiful day you see the building in front there yes that's the market it is a huge place here we go we just arrived to the shijo mai station this is the station you need to come if you are heading to the toyosu fish market it's february 8th 10 degrees and the last weekend there was a heavy snow in tokyo it was really cold Oh yeah, that's the one. Yeah, there is a big other. Uh, Senkyaku Banrai. And there is the Kabuki characters. Yeah, seems like tourist place, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's keep walking. <laughs> so speaking of heavy snow in Tokyo, it was super cold and so many snows. I was surprised because, you know, everywhere it was snowing and so many trains and the highways has to be stopped. I took a picture in Kabukicho and I have posted it on my Instagram. So if you haven't, please don't forget to check my Instagram account as well. 
So this is how the Toyosu station looks like. There's the coin lockers. The red place is used one, and uh, those places without red light, you can still use it. Seems like there are still many availability. But it's the weekday, and now is the travel off season. If you are visiting here, maybe during the Sakura season, probably main coin lockers are used. From Toyosu Station to Shijomai Station, it costs 189 Japanese yen. There is a coin locker in front of the station as well. Yep, market open day. It opens from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yes. It closed at 5 p.m., which is kind of early. So if you are visiting here, especially if you want to see the market, you got to come over here in the super early morning. So this is the map of the Toyosu Fish Market. Basically, if you visit here, the fun place to visit is here, the Fish Intermediate Wholesale Market. You can see the big tuna fish. Also, maybe here, the fruits and veggie market, you can see the fruits ship. But today, we are heading to here, the Toyosu Senkyak Banlai. This is the station, so it's just close to the station. It must be the fun place, I hope. Sorry guys, kept you waiting. Since last year it was too busy, I have decided to take a break on January 2024. However, from February. Yes, the spring season is coming and the more travelers are coming back and coming back. So I will start making more edited video per week and more travel videos are coming. So people are waiting for the travel videos. Yes, time has come, so please look forward to it. But please don't worry, the travel situation update is also coming. So people who love travel situation update, please look forward to it too. Also, please do me a big favor. If you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe so that you will not miss my new video in the surprise live stream. 2024 goal is hitting 200,000 subscribers. I need your help. So, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Arigatou! Ganbarimasu! Let's keep working! Yes, so that's the new place. Toyosu Jogai Edo Mae Ichiba. Wow, that's a long name. <laughs> Seems like super nice spot. I'm excited! Last time when I visit here, still it was under construction and I only could enter until front of the entrance. But now we can enter inside as well. Let's go! Oh my goodness, even it's a weekday, there are just so many people. Wow, really? Shibuya, Shinjuku? It's much fewer people compared to the summertime, but uh, since it's a new spot, that's why. Even it's not the lunch time, there is a long line in front of the restaurant. So how about the price? Today's omakase, 6,600 Japanese yen, 8 pieces plus egg. Well, you know, the omakase, it really depends on the quality, so I'm not sure. How about this kaisendon, 4,400 Japanese yen? If they are using the good searching, it is reasonable, but you know, if they are using the not that good searching, yeah. Definitely that doesn't work. See? And the uh, maguro, Mix 4,840 Japanese yen. Oh, seems like now they have the special menu items. Newly open, 2,970 Japanese yen. This one looks pretty good. Huh. Since there's a line in front of the restaurant, maybe we can come back here later. How about the other place? Let's go check inside. At the entrance, there is an information counter. Probably they have the English service too, so if you have any question, you can come over here. And also, seems like this is the map. Oh, he's a really popular kabuki actor. Sweet! 
So this place, the main theme is Edo period and also Kabuki. If you love Japan and the Japan's atmosphere, definitely this place would be a fun place to visit. Because even me, it's really fun. Oh, nice. That's a knife store. And it seems like there is a sales representative who speaks English. And look at this place. That's interesting. It looks like restaurants, but inside there is a food store. So it's not that cold even in the winter time. And summer time, probably there will be a sea. You can eat the oden, which is a really traditional fish cake in Japan. Huh. That's perfect place to enjoy sake, huh? <laughs> Since it's pretty new, there are so many flowers in front of the every store. Yeah, it is kind of tradition sending the flower for the new store. When my younger brother opened the stores, I also sent the flowers too. Well, which is much smaller one compared to this one though, <laughs> because those are expensive. Let's see what else we have. Wow, really? Again, it's the weekday. So many people. Here, they sell premium egg. The price is 300 Japanese yen. That looks pretty good. Oh my goodness, from this unagi restaurant, smells pretty good. Unagi with seafood bowl cost about 4,000 Japanese yen, which I think it's okay, huh? Ah, uh, here, we have Gindako too, but uh, seems like it's a special store. Seems like price is a regular price. If you want to save money, maybe you can eat Gindako. It's pretty good. It's really fun place, huh? One bad thing is everywhere is crowded, but uh, maybe it because just opened. Probably after several months, it will be much better. Oh, that's the matcha place. They sell the membrane and it looks pretty good. Seems like there is no line, but the line is just hidden. Yeah, over there. Seems like there is this square. What do we have there? It's the taiyaki, which is the fish pancake. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's the weekday. So it seems like those are the street food, but every store, there is a line in front of the store. Seems like it's not the long line, but uh, there is the line continues. Yep, you gotta wait for a very long time. Probably on the weekend, this place will be nightmare. <laughs> Which is a good meaning though. As you can see, you can't find not that many travelers now because it's not the travel season, but uh, after travel season comes back, probably there are fewer local people and this place will be like the foreign country. Maybe this is the reason why they opened it off travel season so that firstly local people can enjoy and after that the travelers will come over here. What is this place? Let's go find out. Ah, oh, look at that. It's Hokkaido Ambada Taimonaka. It's the sweets. Oh my goodness, looks so good. And it seems like there are not that many people. Why not? Let's try the first food here. Otherwise, we can't find the place to eat. All right, first, let's keep the seed. Otherwise, the seed will be taken. So those are the menu items. Seems like they have the set menu item. Why don't we get the recommendation set item, which is this one and the matcha latte. That sounds good. So we can order by the panel which is advanced and uh, yeah, the first one. <laughs> and uh, ice matcha latte. Oh, wait, maybe coffee would be better. Oh, wait, 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 you know, since we are here, why not? Let's do this. So we have a bunch of paying options. There is an English translation too, I believe. I pay by the touch. So here we go. And uh, we got weighted. Let me see. 176 
Now it's 169, so probably we need to wait for a while. Well, to be honest, when I see the info on the internet, I was expecting more expensive prices because, you know, everyone was saying, you know, it could be the tourist trap. However, after checking the price, I realized it is pretty similar with the most of travel spot in Tokyo. So, if the people who not living in Tokyo see the price, it feels like it is expensive. But you know, everywhere in Japan, the inflation is finally coming and everything becoming more expensive. So it is shogunai. Oh, maybe we can check the time, how long it will take. All right, let's start timing. I hope less than 10 minutes now. Well, according to the info on the internet, there is a free food bus with Japanese garden and also restaurant too in the 8th floor. That must be fun. Oh yeah, finally. Should be mine. Hi. Hi, Aizamas. Sweet. We need to pick up the stuff here. Oh my goodness, looks so good. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. It only takes about six to seven minutes, so much shorter than what I thought. That's the first surprise, and then the second surprise is <laughs> the dessert was much tinier than what I thought. But you know, yeah, we're in the travel spot, so that's shogunai. Well, it does look so cute, but uh, I don't know how to eat it. I thought that's an ice cream, but it uh, seems like it's not the ice cream, huh? There is the mochi on top and this black wine called Anko, which is the sweet red bean paste. <laughs> well, it is so cute for looking. Appearance is good, maybe it's perfect for the Instagram, however, <laughs> it is hard to eat. That's okay. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Mm. The red one was kind of sour, and uh, this outside one is like a rice cracker called Monaka. Let me see. Mm. Actually, it is not the sweet than what I thought. The rice cracker and also sweet red bean paste and this white one was butter. So the butter with red bean paste perfectly matches. I love that. And matcha drink. This must be good. Yeah. Before I taste it, I can tell. I'm wondering if it is sweet or not that sweet. Probably not that sweet. Maybe sweet. <laughs> Oh, actually, it is not the sweet at all. The real matcha is not sweet, more bitter. So this one has the matcha flavor, but it is not sweet. So even it's the matcha drink, good with sweets. So if you worry about sweets and sweets, don't worry about it. This matcha drink is not the sweet. And also if you want to have the sweet drink, you can always add the sweetener. Yeah, I didn't have to worry about it. Well, I was expecting to eat the lunch first because I'm hungry. However, since it was super crowded, we had no choice. And this place, now it's also crowded as well. Hopefully, we can find some nicer restaurant and there's a fewer people. Probably it is impossible order, but good luck to me. Oh, in front of it, we have the sake stand. So it seems like three cup of sake, 1,000 yen. There are many different kind of sake. I tried the sake stand in Hida Takayama. The price was 100 Japanese yen for a cup, but uh, of course it is a different sake in a different place, so you can't compare. But uh, yeah, if you love sake, it's a perfect place to try many different kinds of sake. Sweet! Senkyak Banlai original souvenirs. <laughs> Look at this! The Kat Maguro 
cushion. Oh my goodness, it's so fluffy. The price is 2,200 Japanese yen. <laughs> Looks a little bit weird, but uh, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, uh, there is a Bekonin cat and also there is Daruma too. It is a really traditional stuff in Japan. The first, you write the eyes, only the half though, and you set the goal and after your goal comes true, write the other eyes. Interesting tradition, right? And so many cute erasers. Sweet. Oh, look at this. It's the art magnet and it says touch me. Oh, you know what? It is a 3D one. So it is a 3D magnet. There are so many traditional Japanese pictures. Price is 600 Japanese yen for one magnet. And those were all sake from many different kinds of prefectures. Oh my goodness, that's the best souvenir. <laughs> it's the seaweed, but not regular seaweed. They have the different kinds of seaweed. This one is the spicy cock roll. And this one is the wasabi. And also this one is the ume, which is the plum. The price is about 1,000 Japanese yen. That's the cute brooches. Hair creep. I don't know how to call it, but the traditional Japanese hair clips. Also, the earrings. <laughs> the sushi earring. The maguro. Salmon. Unagi. <laughs> Price is 1430 Japanese yen. Sweet. The fancy one. And also, kanzashi. Place it to the hair. Ooh. Okay, so what we have in the first floor? In the first floor, there is a nice place to take a rest. Seems like not that many people here. Oh, can you guys take a guess what it is? <laughs> it's a bicycle stand. Seems like in the first floor, there are much fewer people. So probably I should find a place to eat in the first floor, huh? Oh wait, I just realized it's not open. So maybe that's why. This place is open at the ramen restaurants. And it's the seafood bowl, but this place also closing. So probably in the lunchtime, yeah, this place will be packed as much as the second floor, I believe. So let's go check the second floor arcade. Inside, it probably, it would be super crowded. Let's see. Oh my goodness, that's the matcha crepe place. Wow, that's a long line. How about here? Well, in the street, it's not that much, huh? Oh, nice. They have the Japanese salmon and the ikura sakura mori. Price is 3,000 Japanese yen. And uh, oh my goodness, look at this huge shrimp. How much does it cost? 1,400 Japanese yen. Yeah. It, it does sounds like foreign country, yeah. But uh, must be pretty good though. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's interesting. They have the newly opened special menus. Now we can try the best snow crab. I'm not sure how to translate it in English. Tarabagani and also the beer as well. 1,500 Japanese yen? Why not? Let's try it. Sweet. Let's eat. It's a newly opened special items. So, must be a good deal. Really excited. I love crab and also coming with beer. All right, sweet. Looks pretty good and the smells good too. Sorry, I said snow club, but actually Tarabagani, it's a king crab. It's finally, it's time to kanpai, so kanpai. Thank <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so really excited. This is the stick for taking off the crab. <laughs> Well, I haven't got used to with eating crab, so I'm not sure how I can eat it. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. 
you know, it is a nice crumb. I don't want to waste it. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mecha oishi. It is perfect with beer. You know, one thing that I realized is that probably since I'm Japanese, I grew up with chopsticks, so eating with chopsticks would be better. Hmm. Wait, I just realized it is cut, so maybe I can just poke on it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> now I know how I can eat. So, if you are trying this, this is the way to eat. Mm. <laughs> yep, every day is learning. Mm. I'm enjoying learning. Oh my goodness, it's already the last one. Mm. I always wanted to try the crab in Toyosu, but uh, you know, it is super expensive. But, uh, this much amount and I can try it with beer, loving it. Mm. It's like a street food. You can try a little and then you can go for the next one. That's much more than what I expected. Loving it. Psycho. Nice atmosphere. Whew. That was pretty good. Thinking about the price, 1,500 Japanese yen, definitely good deal. Loving it. Well, maybe because of the dinner time is coming, so this street becoming more and more people. That's interesting. Maguro Burger. Uh, what is this place? Seems like they sell the yakitori and also wagyu. Oh, wait. They sell the sukiyaki too? It comes with tofu. That sounds good. I'm not sure about the price. Let's see. So, we need to buy the food ticket from here. And the sukiyaki tofu is 880 Japanese yen. Let's do it. Sweet. Here we go. It is a sukiyaki tofu, but actually it is a sukiyaki. Sukiyaki, there are many stuffs inside and this one focus on tofu and also meat as well. It must be good. Mm. It is sweet and tender. I love sukiyaki. I want to have the white rice too, but um, yeah, I want to have beer again. <laughs> That was a two big bite in tofu is hot. So if you eat it and you want a big bite, you gotta be careful. It's like a bird style and there are many kinds of snacks. Also, they have the beer with only 550 Japanese yen. And almost at the end of the street, seems like this area, much fewer people. What else we have? Okay, so seems like this is end of the street. There is a food court in the third floor. So let's go check the third floor. I don't want to wait for the elevator. It takes a while, so let's go by the stairs. I'm eating a lot today, so good for exercise as well. Yep. I need to burn the calorie. Ooh. So in the third floor, seems like much fewer people compared to the second floor. It is a nice atmosphere food court. It's the salad bowl restaurants, also seafood bowl and sushi. In the third floor, as you can see, still there are many empty seats. So if you are looking for the place to eat, but you can't find a seat, probably you'd better come over to the third floor. You can eat with watching the street view. Oh, that's interesting. It's the all-you-can-eat seafood restaurant. You can eat pretty much all sashimi here. By the way, buffet in Japanese is baiking. Baiking? 
price 6,578 Japanese yen for adult. If you pay 7,678 Japanese yen, you can drink alcohol as well for 70 minutes. There is a food bath in the 8th floor, but seems like we can't go from this elevator. So let's go back to the 2nd floor. Yeah, that's the place where we were. We came back to the street. So must be there is an elevator on the right side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a place It opening from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Oh my goodness, look at that. Those are the old, old cameras. Super classic one. There are so many flowers. What is this place? Uh, seems like they have the seafood. Oh, it's only 888 Japanese yen. You need to order one drink though. But the drink is not that expensive. 600 Japanese yen? There are plenty of space here. Maybe we can come back. Wow, it looks so good and I want to try that, but I'm just so full. Maybe next time we can try it. So let's go check the free food bus. This is the way to go. I'm wondering how long we got wait. Oh, but that's the elevator, so seems like it's not that long. It's in the eighth floor. Let's go. <laughs> This is the place we can go outside. Oh, they sell the towel with 200 Japanese yen, so if you don't bring the towel, should be fine. And here we go. <laughs> nice! Sweet! So many people enjoying the food bath! That's a great view! Since there are just so many people today, maybe we can try the food bath next time. But we can enjoy the view of sunset. Wow! I always loved the view from Toyosu area. It is beautiful. So according to this map, we are supposed to looking for the Mount Fuji, but uh, seems like we can't see it, huh? Maybe in the early morning time we can see that? And probably in the morning time there are much fewer people compared to now because of the sunset time. There are much more people now. Oh, we can see the view from here too. We can see the street from the higher place. Oh my goodness. That's a nice place. Let's go back to the downstairs. Let's go in down. This is the center of the street. It's Tokedai. And we have a culture that we place a sticker on the wall. Please remember how it looks like right now. And maybe you can compare in the next year. Probably this wall looks totally different. If you visit here, maybe you can remember how it looks like right now. And you can compare when you visit this place. Toyosu closed at 5 p.m. and we still have 13 minutes. Since still we have time, let's go to check Toyosu Fish Market this building. Here we go, this is the Toyosu Fish Market this main building. Inside, you can learn the history of Toyosu and also you can have the close look of the fish market cart. By the way, this one is a huge magro. This one was sold 0.3 billion yen. Yeah, this guy is a legend. And also, this is the old food street. Because of the time, most of the store is closed, but there are restaurants. And there are other places that you can check the market. But again, if you want to see the market, You have to come over here in the super early morning, which is like before 6, 5 a.m., which is the before starting train. So it is really hard to check the market 
Also, in Toyosu, still we had the restaurants, but uh, not as many as Tsukiji. I think that's the reason why there were fewer travelers here. But now we got the Senkyaku Banrai, which is the new food street. Well, definitely, I feel like they are targeting the inbound customers. That's why the price is expensive, but uh, it's more like, you know, looks fancy, but uh, many street food with small portion so that you can try more. Well, to be honest, before visiting here, I was like, man, <laughs> we got the another tourist trap. But uh, definitely, that's a fun place. Even the price is a little bit expensive, so for locals, feels like not that great because you know we can find the uh, many restaurants in the street i mean in the local town however if you are traveling to japan in the short period and you don't have much time definitely it's really fun place to visit especially now yen is cheaper so i recommend it and also on top of the building we have the nice garden which is super nice view, but always no one here. Ooh, I love the view here. It's always super relaxing place to visit. All right, so hope you enjoyed the video. Again, finally, Ryan Bear is wake up from Toming. Toming. Toming is a winter sleep. Usually, you know, bear goes to the warmer place and sleep whole winter. But January, it was my Tomin day, but uh, finally, I woke up and become more active. So there are more travel videos are coming. If you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you are planning to travel to Japan, there are more travel update videos coming too. So please look forward to it. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. And also, if your friend planning to travel to Japan, please share this info so that it will be a great help for your friend too. And I will be super happy too. <laughs> yeah, just being honest. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the videos. Big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. Alright, so see you in the next video. Say no go. Have a great day. Bye bye. <laughs> wow, Senkyaku Banrai, which means thousand customer, ten thousand times coming back. Really popular proverb, Japanese word. You know, we have the Yonmoji Jukugo, meaning four Chinese characters' words. And the Senkyaku Banrai is the popular traditional one. To be honest, Toyosu is a good place to visit. However, it is not as fun as Tsukiji because there are not that many food attractions. But after we got that Senkyaku Banrai, definitely, it's really fun place to visit. It's just right next to the Team Lab planet. So if you visit the Team Lab, you gotta visit this place too. And hope you enjoy that. Definitely, there are more Oops, <laughs> excuse me. Definitely, there are more and more travel videos are coming, so please look forward to it. See you in the next video.